So you modded your 3DS. <laughs> now what? Well, today I'm going to show you some apps for a modded 3DS system that I have found to be interesting and that I've used. Sure, I've made a previous video on the same subject, but those were more what I consider essential apps like the FBI File Manager or the Anemone Theme Manager, but these are going to be a little bit more niche. And the first one to get us started is actually the talk of the town right now, Pretendo. Recently, the online servers for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U were shut down, so that means you can't play online anymore. Or can you? Pretendo lets you do just that, play online on a few games. It also allows you to add friends and other online features besides playing games online. It's an open source Nintendo network replacement, as quoted from their website. The website shows the progress they've made and the games that are currently supported. In the progress tab, it also shows what exactly the percentage completed for each game. For example, Mario Kart 7 has online and the ability to join your friends from your friends list, but it's still missing the ghost data and the communities. But the main important aspect, the online racing, is here. In fact, I tried racing online and found some matches. The Pretendo app is easy to install too. Just download some files and drop them into the root of USD card on your modded 3DS. Open the app up and switch your online to Pretendo servers and voila. I'll have a video in the description of the one I used to install Pretendo. Now I'm not affiliated with these channels and I don't endorse them or anything, but I'll have links of all the apps in the description below. Next up is a random app I saw that basically just flashes the notification light different colors, because you can if you want to. Break MCU. Here in this app, well it just opens and closes, and now my notification light flashes different colors. For what you may ask? Well, um, for no reason at all. Except it looks cool. Plus, does this count as RGB? Okay, so another app I found to be very interesting. To be honest, I've only used it for educational purposes because I don't know the legality of it and whatnot. But anyways, it's an amiibo emulator called Woomiibo. Woomiibo lets you basically unlock any amiibo in your games. The menu is simple and just pick a game and pick an amiibo for it. Also, your actual amiibos won't work when Woomiibo is activated, so you'll have to deactivate it to use them. Now, of course, I'm still going to buy my amiibos if I want to use them in a game, but most of my amiibos are still in their box, and I don't really use them too much in games. Now, one app I do use a lot is NTR Boot slash Snickerstream, which I talked about before, but it's so good I had to talk about it twice. This app lets you stream your 3DS games to your PC, either just to play them on the big screen or record footage from your 3DS, like I do. Yes, it's not perfect, and some games do have a noticeable lag on it, but it sure beats installing a capture card on your 3DS. You just need to install an application on your PC called Snickerstream, along with NTR Boot on your 3DS. Also, if you want to record audio, you're going to need an aux to aux from your 3DS to your PC. The 3D effect on the 3DS would have been perfect to play Virtual Boy games on it, but they were never released on the system. Until now. There's an app called Red Viper that lets you do just that. It's a Virtual Boy emulator, and even lets you play with the 3D effect to get the Virtual Boy feeling. There's even options to change the colors from that all red to basically any color you want. This is a great way to play Virtual Boy games, and some of them are really fun, especially since the actual Virtual Boy consoles are expensive, sometimes faulty, and not the most comfortable to play with. Virtual Boy Wario Land is a really good game, and you can go into the backgrounds and levels, and it feels right at home on the 3DS. If you've never played the Virtual Boy, this is a great way to try it out. Okay, the last app I want to talk about is called 3D si 3DS Sedent? 3D Sedient? 3D okay, however you pronounce it. I found this app through a friend who let me know about it, and this app just gives you information on your 3DS. Their kernel, the system version, the, your device ID. You can also see your battery percentage, and as well as your Wi-Fi info, which you'll need for that NTR boot streaming app. And it even gives you info what kind of screen you have, if you have an IPS or a TN screen if you weren't 100% sure by just using your eyes. Yep, there's literally hundreds of applications for a modded 3DS, some more useful than others, but all have a function. And there'll always be new ones in the future, so maybe there'll be an app for whatever you need. Luckily, I have a 128GB SD card, meaning I'll have more than enough storage for a, whoops, <laughs> drop the SD card. Where, where did it go? Wait, what was that? No, no, I broke it. Not the SD card. <laughs>